Hello guys, KP Shemino here with a new video for Stalker 2 and 10 minutes ago we had a very big patch. Patch 1.0.1 is live and there are a lot of things in it that I like a lot. Uh, so a couple of them are going to solve problems that I had. So over 650 fixes including quest blockers, so this is really big. So what was the problem that you simply couldn't do a quest because somebody was blocking you? Memory leaks, that's something that I had. So I got a decent computer. And when I came in a hub, uh, yeah, my graphical performance went down. My computer didn't work anymore like it needed to work. Sometimes if I load in the game, it was done. If I went away from my computer for five minutes, it was unplayable. Everything was in like uh, slow motion. And that's a memory leak. So I'm very happy that they fixed that. I hope it's gone. And then crashes and minor bugs. So you guys can see it here. So AI fixes fixed groups of NPC getting stuck and dying near shelter during active emission. That's really good because they are just blocking the way. NPCs are blocking doors or blocking ways out. You were just stuck and you couldn't get out of it. Because you can only uh, get bodies away. So you, you pull them up. And then you, you get them away. Uh, the other things are a couple of fixes too that you can see here. Not that important, but I think it will help a lot on the immersive part. So, and then they did 20 more different issues with AI. So really good. That's in total, I think, 27 uh, yeah, things that they fixed with the AI. And then a couple of things with the sound optimization for people that got problem with it. And then balance adjustments. This is for me a very important one too. So the first one, weapons and armor repair cost is decreased. So that's very good too. I thought that first of all, the equipment take way too much damage. And second of all, the repair cost is way too high. So that's really good. Then the next one significantly increased cost of artifacts so uh, if you uh, find them you can sell them now for more and that's very good because farming artifacts is one of the main sources to get money in this game then the next one i'm going to do it like this money reward for most miss missions increased for uh, from two to three times that's good then the next one rookie difficulty armor and weapons buff so that's really good too because i think a lot of people play that on rookie so i played the first 10 hours on rookie and now now on uh, on stalker uh, because i was a noob i never played this franchise but I can understand that a lot of people start at Rookie. Damage from mutants is moderately decreased on Rookie difficulty. So that's really good too for the people that are fresh to the, to the game. Damage to players' weapons is decreased by 23% on Rookie difficulty. Why 23%? I don't know. But that's really good too. Then armor durability is increased by 12.5%. So they, it takes longer until they wear out. Then the next one, added slicer attachment for PTM to specific stash on lesser zone. That's good too. Then a couple of fixes and then uh, a rebalanced one at the end too. Then the next one is very important too that I want to share with you guys. So reduce some missing items weight, including weight of scanners. That's something that I think is a very big problem in this game too. Everything, the weight of your items that you're just wearing compared to the amount of weight that you can carry is is too too is is too big so i see it a lot of times what you need to do in this game the entire time is i had it an hour ago too so you go out on a mission you need to run for 15 20 minutes you come there with almost an empty inventory you come there you take one gun one chest and you need to go back to sell that equipment and this is something that they are going to fix here. And that's really good. Slightly rebalanced bloodsucker damage. That's really good too. Because that's what I saw was a very big problem for a lot of people. They were very overpowered, those guys, those bloodsuckers. Decreased bloodsucker strike protection rank. That's really good too. Reduced bloodsucker HP regeneration outside the combat. Controller HP is moderately reduced. Uh, and then a couple of other things. This was for me a very important one too. The boars. 
Um, so now if you damage the board, it's increased. So that's really good. And then significantly increased weapon melee distance and then the knife melee distance too. That's true too. That was so irritating because with your knife, most of the time you open boxes. And so many times that I'm standing on a box, I want to hit it and I cannot hit it. Sometimes I need, even need to uh, crouch to hit it. So that's a really good one because wasting bullets to open boxes is not done in this game because you're way too limited on bullets. So then a couple of other things that they fix here, uh, a couple of things in the main and side mission, but I think that I said most of the things that are important. So you guys can read it. I think it's a very good fix. It took a little bit of time, a little bit more than one week, but if you see 650 fixes, that's a lot. Thanks for watching. Have fun. Bye bye.